Okay, so how can we trigger a drum machine with note information? Well, the reason why that's gonna work is because what the TR8 needs in order to trigger its individual instruments is a trigger signal. And when you're sending note information from Ableton's MIDI clips, the very first MIDI message that is getting sent out is a gate, which in our case is going to work well as a trigger. Now, if you have external gear that does not have MIDI connections on it, and you would like to know how to synchronize that gear with your DAW, I've created a video on that subject, and I'm gonna throw a link right up here in the corner for you, so you can go and check that out in further detail. Okay, so in order to find out which MIDI notes trigger which instrument on the TR-8, you just have to play around with it a little bit. Open a MIDI clip, enable the MIDI editor preview, and then start playing. Oops, there's one. That's a clap. That's one of the hi-hats. So I've marked it up just outside of our MIDI clip, all the notes that you can use to trigger individual elements of the TR-8. And as you can see, it's ranging from B0 all the way up to G sharp 2. Now the order is a bit confusing because unfortunately it's not in the same order as the instruments are listed on the TR-8 going from left to right. But once you play around with it a little bit, you're gonna be able to find which note triggers which instrument. So let's listen to this very first one, which is our kick drum. And as you can see, there's a four to the floor MIDI pattern that is now live triggering the Roland TR-8, more specifically its kick drum. And you will see if I start adjusting parameters, So then what you want to do, you're going to use all the MIDI clips that you extracted and find each and every instrument, which note it's going to be triggered on. And once you have that done, you basically are ready to start recording your drums into Ableton from the Roland TR-8 or whichever drum machine you decide to use that has the capability of reading incoming MIDI messages from a DAW. This is our hi-hat. This is our closed hi-hat. Our snare drum. And like I said, this is coming live from the Roland TR-8. This is nothing that's already been pre-recorded. So when you're changing parameters, it will show live our hand clap, and finally, the clave. <laughs> 